Hi everyone, my name's Annette. Welcome to Cotto Verdi and to day 16 of Vlogmas. Today I thought I would show you how I dry my orange slices so that I can use them for decor during the festive season and also how I bleach pine cones because they, it gives the pine cones like a really scandy vibe and makes them pop a little bit more. Rather than being dark brown, it really lightens the colour and I quite like that look. So I thought I'd take you through the process of how I do this. If you can hear some Christmas jangly bells in the background, that's just my kitten Cosmo playing with his cat toy. I'm going to start by demonstrating how I dry my orange slices. If you're in, only interested in the pine cone information, bleaching pine cones, I'll put a timestamp up here and then you can fast forward to that bit if that's what you're interested in. So I dry my orange slices in the oven because I don't have a dehydrator. Obviously, if you've got a dehydrator, it's a lot easier and you don't have to follow this process at all. But if you don't have one and you want to use the oven, then this is the process that I use. Bleaching pine cones takes a couple of days. What we need to do is to sit them in the bleach solution for a day or two. Um, be careful not to over bleach them, so don't leave them there too long because then they just start disintegrating. Um, but I sort of leave mine for 24 to 36 hours and then um, when we take them out we have to rinse them and then leave them to dry and where you dry them will determine how long it takes to dry them. Obviously, if we do it in the summer, then we can dry them out of the sunshine, which is wonderful. Um, but if you're doing it during the winter, like I am, um, I put them at the bottom of my airing cupboard and just dry them down there. Um, I'm not sure what you call an airing cupboard in the States. It's the cupboard where the boiler is. So if you put them near the boiler, it's nice and warm. Um, underfloor heating works a treat. Um, but you could just dry them, you know, naturally in a room somewhere and so long as there's, you know, airflow or whatever, then they'll dry fine.
that's it for today. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and found it interesting and useful. Maybe you want to try your hand at doing something like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.